call it fourth wave of feminism. It could be fifth, fuck, tenth, it doesn't matter. It's feminism. Feminist ideology is based on Marxist principles. <clears throat> that is, they need to control everybody <coughs> and destroy personal rights. Rights with a capital R, rights from God. Now you have privileges from the government. That is what the destruction of our nation has done. And this was a big part of it. By giving women equal rights. You didn't elevate women. You drug men down to it. Because men have natural rights and women have artificial rights that were created by government. And if you're a woman, I'm sorry I have to say this, that these are the facts. Only men have rights before God. And so then women get mad and say, well, then that's not my God. That's fine. I don't care. But when you talk about what motivates a man to fight to the death, it was for his rights as a man. He fought King George, told him to fuck off, declared his independence. Okay. Women are behind good men. And getting benefits, you get all the benefits, but you want the rights too, and then special rights. Let's continue with 2001 to present. MGTOW starts, though it's not named. Men started going their own way long before it came here to YouTube, a long time ago. So I hate it when people say <clears throat> and write to me, Oh, MGTOW, you're not doing it the right way. You have to be a monk or you have to be this or that. You know, you're a purple pill, you're a blue pill, or you're not good enough or you're not pure enough. It's ridiculous. Be a man, go your own way, right? We're all men, we all get to go our own way. So MGTOW started way back then. You could even say it's been going for decades, since the 60s. Men have been trying to go in their own way and get away from these feminist whores, right? So MGTOW starts, though it's not named that. It's not giving the, given the cool an acronym. Okay, so let's see how it worked. The progression of feminist control of sex was part of this. The progression of feminist control of sex. That is women determining when sex is and isn't sex. Right? You have to get permission, you can't assume anything, you know, having sex when you're drunk, all of those things, right? They could claim that, that, you know, they could claim that unless, you know, there's no implicit sex, it all has to be explicit, they have to agree to it. That led to what's known as the rape culture. That is, a woman can determine at any point that it's rape, even now after the fact. The next day they can wake up, decide that they didn't like you or like what happened and call it rape. And that is women further taking control of sex for feminist doctrine purposes. That is controlling men. Next, progressive growth of feminist entitlement mentality and feminist radicalism has now gone mainstream. Right? The feminist entitlement mentality, that is, they're entitled to everything they want and ask for. You have to get the door, you have to not get the door. You have to pay for dinner. You have to buy them gifts. You have to give them your car. Right? You have to give them their money. And now these ideas are no longer radical. In the 60s, it was considered radical, and women could only take men's shit when they get a divorce. Only demand it socially back then. And so they played the victim status in the 60s. Oh, my husband's bad, so I'm not happy, so I need to take his shit, right? Now, the idea of men paying for women's ways and women are entitled to everything, entitled to getting their way, is now a mainstream concept. Mainstream. So the marriage rate and childbirth rate drops, while the divorce percentage increases. Okay, they are destroying now themselves because the marriage rate and childbirth <clears throat> uh, drops. That is because men, as I said up here, MGTOW started, though not named. Men don't want to marry these bitches. They don't want to marry them. Why? Because they know something stinks in Denmark. It actually stinks between these girls' legs. They're using their smelly little pussies to catch men so that they can hook them. Remember that hook I talked about? That's why women have hair on their pussies, is to hide the hook. <laughs> uh, 
That's exactly what it's there for. Men realized that women were trapping them by getting pregnant and then stealing their money, so men stopped having getting married to women. Women get knocked up, and then men marry them, then they lose all their shit. Men, they would say, men are afraid of commitment. That's a form of shame. Men are not afraid of commitment. Men can be far more committed than women. They have to be. They have to be committed to life, to working hard, to putting their nose to the grindstone, grindstone and using their bodies and their minds, their whole lives, to bust their ass. Because these feminist whores, right, all of them, all these waves, they want men's resources. They can't do it themselves. They know it. They know it deep down inside. They can't get the fucking job done and that they need our money. They might learn a few tricks, might learn a few trades to make some money, but still, the best trade they have is on their back as prostitutes. They prostitute themselves to men, get knocked up, call, call the arrangement marriage, and then use the courts to steal their money and steal their homes and steal their lives. That's what feminists do. So as a result of that, marriage rate and childbirth drops and the divorce percentage increases. It's getting easier for men to see, all men to see, how little value marriage has. And I feel sorry for my sons because they're going to grow up in a world where women think it's their right to get everything out of men and divorce them anytime they feel it's the right idea or a good time to do it. When they've maximized the return on their investment, they will divorce men or push men away and cause them to divorce women. This is the fucking trick. So men are learning and they're not getting married. Right? The divorce percentage is increased and the marriage rate has dropped because men are staying away. But what happened back here? Women started suing men, saying, well, he knocked me up, it's his baby. And they used the DNA, right, the genetics, the test, to use the courts once again. They got rights, equal rights, equal rights, to use the court to sue men to make them pay for the sex. That's right, you put your dick in it once, have a baby, you have to pay for her and her comfort for the rest of that kid's life. Now up into the 20s, up into the 20s. So, men saw what was coming. MGTOW philosophy and practice begins. Right, that is, use women until they're bitches and get rid of them. And women hate that. They want the fairy tale. They want the happily ever after. They want everything their way and they don't want to give anything for it. So the feminists double down and start punishing men. Double down on men. They cannot have us get away from them. You've got to understand what's going to happen next. This is what's happening. The feminists are doubling down. If you want pussy now, right? they want marriage, but you're not going to give it to them. They want beta males when they're done on the cock carousel so that they can have kids, because biologically they're driven to it as women, and then they want to divorce you and take all of your shit. They want to destroy you and use the courts to control you and demand money from you. They double down on their punishment. Right? Between, you know, a child care, a, a alimony, they want all of these things. If you don't give them what they want, they're going to scream rape. They're punishing us now. No catcalling. Right? In the workplace, they've come after us with uh, equal opportunities. That, that they want the same money for the same work, even though they're not doing the same work and they don't have the same skill level and they're not that dedicated. They want it all. They're doubling down. Feminists. This is basically where they're going. They will push for socialism to take men's resources with the laws. They're coming after us with the power and force of law. By Hillary Clinton being defeated, these bitches were given a huge setback. Barack Obama is a feminist and he's in the White House. Michelle has her hand clean up his ass and is working him really good. Right? But we would have had one in the driver's seat and she was pushing for it. Pushing for it. All these special laws for special groups. Right? We cannot, men can't ignore the feminists, the feminazis, the women's rights movement. We cannot just ignore them 
You can do what you can. If you're not fit to fight the battle, then you stay out of it. But the war...